Good afternoon. Welcome on into tonight's, well, this afternoon's from day one. Today we go with a blast from the past. Good old Schrodinger is back on the channel with, surprisingly, a flat earther. He just said something so dumb, so stupid, even him couldn't believe it. Now, from beyond the grave, the voice of Schrodinger. There we go. Schrodinger, if you would please. Because it just got boring. But, but every now and then, someone says something so monumentally stupid that it has to be addressed. It drives me absolutely insane when people make declarative statements without even checking or thinking about it first. I heard the following on Jose J.G. Gonzalez's daily stream. So what's what's wrong or right? Why, why I just told you. Not uh, you can't you can't you can't move far enough away to take a full photograph of Earth from space if you're you know if you're the uh, the moon on the moon or whatever. That's that's ridiculous. Upon hearing that stupid statement, I face palmed so hard that I nearly decapitated myself. But then he said something even dumber. All right, so so it's kind of uh, you just don't believe it, and and that's pretty much it because you don't believe it. Well, it's because I I know how to do math, and you're saying yes, somebody took this picture of Earth. No, you don't know math, and I'm going to prove it, and it won't even be hard, and I'm only going to use middle school math to do it, and then everybody will know that you're an idiot. His statement was that, from the moon, you aren't far enough away to get a picture of the entire Earth. To disprove that, I'm going to use this globe and an iPhone. You don't need a globe, though. Any spherical object will do. So, you can all do it at home. And this dummy could have done it at home and not said something so embarrassingly stupid. First, we need to know the distance from the Earth to the moon. This has been determined to be, on average, 238,900 miles, or about 384,000 kilometers. We know this via multiple methods, including radar and laser ranging. The diameter of the Earth is about 7,917 miles, or 12,741 kilometers. So we can calculate that the moon is about 30 times the Earth's diameter away from us. Now we need to measure the diameter of my globe so that we can do our test. There's many ways to do it, but I'm going to do it by first measuring the circumference. And the circumference of my globe is just over 38 inches, which is about 0 0.96 meters or 3.17 feet. How do we get the diameter from that? Well, it's as easy as pi. Pi is the ratio of the circumference of a circle to the diameter. So if we rearrange the formula, we can determine the diameter by dividing the circumference of the globe by pi. And when we do, we get a diameter of almost exactly one foot. So with all this information, we know that if our idiot friend is right, I should not be able to take a picture of my entire globe from 30 feet away. So let's test it. Okay, so here's the Earth. It won't stop raining, so I'm doing this in the rain because that's how dedicated I am to abolishing stupid. And you can see the beginning of the tape measure right here. So let's go to the moon. We've already determined that the moon is 30 times the Earth diameter away, and to scale that translates to 30 feet. Our flat Earth friend said that you can't fit the entire Earth into the camera's view. Let's see if he's right. Holy shit, would you look at that. Not only is it fully in the camera's view, but it's pretty small. Let's see how close we can get before it's not fully in the camera's view.
about 16 inches, which translates to about 10,500 miles. The moral of this story is, don't say stupid things on the internet, because I will find you, and I will make fun of you. Speaking of stupid, I also need to talk about something else really quick, because I was threatened yesterday by a troglodyte frauditor, and I'm wondering if he thinks that I should be afraid. His channel name is Legalized Drugs, and I've covered him a couple times. He gets butt hurt pretty easily, and he's clearly butt hurt because he did this. Yeah. You guys, I also, I have some great news. I have some great news. I'm going to post it in another video later. But Schrodinger's cat, you guys are going to love this video I'm about to do. This dude's channel is done. It's done. I've got the legal I've got the legal paperwork paperwork halfway drafted. This dude's channel is done. Okay? And I'm going to do a video on it. I'm suing him. I'm going to sue him and he's going down. He made a big 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 huge mistake and i know what he's gonna say he's gonna go to his lawyer he's gonna run and get his lawyer and he's gonna say the first thing out of his mouth he's gonna say i didn't know i didn't know i didn't know and his lawyer is gonna say that's no excuse he's gonna say i didn't know how was i supposed to know i guarantee you that's what's gonna happen remember this is a prediction coming from a frauditor and so far, they have a 0% accuracy rate. And his lawyer's going to say, you should have known. His lawyer's going to make him stuttle with me. Or I'm going to make... Schrodinger's cat doesn't have the budget to litigate with me. He doesn't have it. I will drain that dude's accounts dry with four motions. With four, three motions. And three motions, I'll drain them dry. Is it three or is it four? I'm just wanting to get myself prepared. Drain him dry. Any attorney, I'll go up against any attorney that he gets. And I'm not going to tip my hand on, on what the claims are because I don't want him to go run and, and get prepared and everything. I want this to hit him like, a, I want this to hit him in the face like a brick wall because guess what? Me and another individual, we're coming to his house to serve him. That's not how service of a lawsuit works, dummy. If you don't know that basic fact, you aren't equipped to do what you say that you're going to do. We're going to serve him personally and we're going to put it on, on video and it's going to be hilarious. We're going to, we're going to, this is going to be so funny guys. All right. We're going to serve this fool and we're going to put it on video and, and he's going to settle. And guess what? We're not doing any non-disclosure agreements with you Schrodinger's cat. I have no problem signing those. I sign those all the time. I have no problem. You're not getting one. Your lawyer's gonna beg me. He's gonna beg me to sign a non-disclosure agreement. He's even gonna be willing to pay me more to sign one. I'm not signing it. I'm going to make a laughing stock out of you. I'm, I'm gonna make you. I'm gonna publicly humiliate you and embarrass you with the truth. I'm going to embarrass you and humiliate you with the truth. And I can't wait. I can't wait. Thank you, Beth. I can't wait to show you guys. This is going to be so awesome. We're going to go serve this guy. He's going to be screwed. He he's too dumb. He can't he doesn't he, he'll have to go get a lawyer. He has to get one. I'm forcing him to get one cuz the the way I file this complaint, I'm going to make it so he doesn't understand one word in it. I think this might be his first correct prediction because it'll probably be some nonsense word salad that nobody can make heads or tails of. I'm going to make it so he, he's going to look, it's going to look like he's reading French. I'm going to make it that way. I don't want him to think for one second that he could come in there and mess with me on his own. I want him. I'm going to force him to go spend $20,000 on attorneys. All right. Just to read the complaint, just to read the complaint. Then I'm going to start hitting them with motions. And every time they, his lawyers have to respond to those motions, they're going to be billing him thousands and thousands of dollars. They're going to be billing him and they, they don't get to choose whether they can respond or not. They have to respond to my emotions. They have to. I can force him to spend money, okay? And I'm going, I'm gonna break him. I'm gonna break him. He's so dumb, he's so dumb. Wait till you guys see what he did. And you guys know I don't file lawsuits unless I have the, I've got the, it's on video. I have a video, it's video evidence that I'm submitting with this lawsuit. 
It's a video. This dude is done. You can't. Videos don't lie, guys. Videos don't lie. Videos do not lie. And then, and then we'll make an example out of Schrodinger's cat. We're gonna make an example out of him, and uh, and we'll see how the other channels behave. Schrodinger's cat. He's he's their leader anyway. He's the uh, he's the guy. I mean, those other guys are just followers. Schrodinger's cat's the one that really started all that stuff. So. I've said many times that I am not a leader in the debunker or watchdog community. I'm just a dude that points and laughs at stupid. And you, my friend, are stupid. You know, I'm, I'm going after him. I, I go after, I'm, it's chain of command, boss, boss, boss v. boss, uh, you know. So bosses go to bosses. I don't, I don't deal with those other guys. They're little guys, all right. I sue the top dogs. I sue the guys that have something, all right. Degeneration Nation and all those other channels, they don't have anything. Those guys are bums, all right? Schrodinger's cat, I, you have something I want, and I'm coming to get it, all right? I want your money, and I want your dignity, and I'm taking both. To quote my good friend Artie, come take it, bitch. By the way, the follow-up on that is, no, this idiot did not get Schrodinger. He lost a lot. And then he lost a lot more. And a lot more, and a lot more, and a lot more, and a lot more. All right. That is what happened there. All right, let's see what else we have for this evening. And by the way, yes, again, I took dear old Schrodinger away from us in the world way, way, way too early. All righty, let's start with KFAR on a fake ID, and we will pick this up in the evening from whatever part we do not finish here. KFAR, take it away. Hmm, I guess we're having an ad.